Avram and Joel Glazer set the sale date. Manchester United presidents Joel and Avram Blazer have long put the club up for sale. The two biggest billionaires who want to buy the club are Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Sheik Jasm. The Glazer family is asking for £6 billion, while the highest bid for now is said to be £5 billion. According to the latest information, Avram and Joel Glazer have set the date to sell the club. According to the News of the Sun newspaper, the Glazer family will definitively sell the club after the match against Manchester City on June 3. The current plan of the Glazer family is that if Manchester United wins the trophy, they will want to sell the club for a higher price. But if Manchester United lose the game, they will sell the club to the highest bid. Right now, all Manchester United fans want is for the club to be sold quickly before the summer transfer window opens. Nottingham Forest ready to offer £30 million to sign Manchester United goalkeeper Dean Henderson. Nottingham Forest are willing to pay £30 million to sign Manchester United goalkeeper Dean Henderson, reports Manchester Evening News. The 26-year-old joined the City Ground Club on a season-long loan last summer following their promotion. Henderson made 18 Premier League appearances for Forrest before a thigh strain ruled him out of the season in January. While the club brought in Kaylor Navis on loan from Paris Saint-Germain, the 36-year-old is expected to return to France. Forrest told Henderson after they secured safety with a victory over Arsenal on Saturday that they want him. The Man United goalie is contracted to the Red Devils until 2025. They also have the option of activating an additional year in his deal, but selling him for £30 million could appeal to the board. Manager Eric Ten Hag needs funds to buy players in the summer and with the takeover being delayed, cash from selling Henderson would come in handy. Forrest broke their transfer record last August after signing Morgan Gibbs-White for £25 million. They are ready to break it again a year later with the acquisition of Henderson. The Manchester United Academy graduate wants to keep playing regularly to boost his chances with the England national team. He knows David De Gea will remain ahead of him in the pecking order, and a permanent exit will do him good. Henderson underwent surgery two weeks ago and could be sidelined until early August. He will not get a chance to feature for Man United in preseason, but it will not affect his chances of joining Forrest permanently if an agreement can be reached. Barcelona star lifts lid on Manchester United's failed transfer approach last summer. Frankie de Jong has lifted the lid on Manchester United's failed transfer approach for him last summer. In his first window as United manager, Eric Ten Hag was keen on acquiring his former protege to join him at Old Trafford. Talks went as far as a deal being agreed between the Red Devils and Barcelona, however, the stalling factor was de Jong's apprehension to leave the Spanish club. He was adamant about playing Champions League football this season, something that United were unable to offer. When it was all but confirmed the 26-year-old would be staying, Ten Hag turned his attention towards the highly decorated Case Miro, who has proven to be a pivotal and irreplaceable cog at the heart of United's midfield. Numerous reports have suggested that Ten Hag will reignite his pursuit of De Jong in the coming months, but cause during his latest comments, it looks like he'll be getting deja vu. Manchester United want Arsenal attacking midfielder Ethan Nwanery. Manchester United are monitoring the situation of Arsenal attacking midfielder Ethan Nwanery, reports The Athletic. The 16-year-old became the youngest player in Premier League history when he came on against Brentford last September. Nwanari was 15 years and 181 days old at the time and has attracted interest from the Red Devils. He is yet to resolve his future in Chelsea and Manchester City will challenge Man United for his signature. The England under-17 attacker is expected to attract more suitors as he is currently impressing at the European under-17 championship in Hungary.
Nwanari bagged the winner for England against Croatia in the group stage last Thursday. The Arsenal Academy graduate made his debut for their under-18s aged 14, and it is clear to see why Man United are keen. However, they will need to offer better terms and a guarantee of a quicker pathway to first-team football to have a chance. Mwanari is primarily a number 10, but he can play on both wings and in a box-to-box -box role. Man United have plenty of options in attack and would have to initially loan the teenage sensation out if they snap him up. £40 million striker Manchester United want to sign demonstrates his power. Manchester United linked forward Rasmus Hodgland is back on the scoresheet for Atlanta after a tricky spell. The Times reported over the weekend that Manchester United are indeed keen on a move to sign Rasmus Hodgland this summer. The Denmark star has enjoyed a breakthrough season at Atlanta and really hit the headlines during the recent international break in which he scored five goals in two games. The 20-year-old is a star of the future who would not cost an extortionate fee. Rather than wait two or three years, it would make some sense to move on him early this summer. Since his headline-grabbing exploits in the international break, Rasmus Hodgland has had a trickier time replicating his goal-scoring form back in Italy. He returned with an assist, but had been on a six-game goal-scoring drought before this weekend. With Rasmus Hodgland, Manchester United would not be buying a ready-made star, but one who could develop into one. The Times reports he would cost around £40 million, which United might be able to break down with add-ons and clauses, it's how we usually operate. Manchester United scout Strasbourg attacking midfielder Habib Diarra. Manchester United are one of the Premier League clubs keeping tabs on Strasbourg attacking midfielder Habib Diarra, reports The Sun. The France Youth International is attracting a plethora of clubs ahead of the summer transfer window. Strasbourg are willing to sell Diarra and they want around £20 million for him. The Red Devils watched the 19-year-old in action against OGC Nice last Saturday but they were not the only club in town. Manchester City are keen on him and were also at Stade de la Mena. Aston Villa, Wolverhampton Wanderers, Tottenham Hotspur, West Ham United, Crystal Palace, Leeds United and Leicester City also had scouts in attendance.